Welcome back to our history class and this is Elimu TV, one of your favorite channels where you watch and learn. This is your tutor, Rojab Michira. So we are still looking at development of transport and uh, in our previous lesson we did introduce traditional forms of transport. Then again, just to remind you, we did say that one of the traditional form of transport we had is human transport. And also, we did look at animal transport, rather the use of park animals. And in today's class, we're also going to look at some of other traditional means of transport. But also, rather, we'll get to look at water transport. But what do we expect at the end of the lesson? we should be able to, to describe traditional forms of water transport. Then also, we'll get to identify some of the traditional vessels used in early water transport. Now, can we get to get to water transport? From the word go, water transport, it means they used water as a channel, right? They used water as a channel. But what were some of these vessels that they used in water transport? because they could not just walk on water. What aided them in going through water or uh, passing, or, or rather, you had, uh, as water as a channel? What are some of the vessels they used? One of the vessels they used are rafts. And what is a raft? A raft is just a floating structure. It was made by tying floating materials, for example, logs, right? You could tie like five or 10 logs together with a rope. Then, as we, as we always know, logs float on water, then that was a raft. That, that is what we call a raft, and a, a raft could carry goods and people. From our image there, you can see some, um, some people there using rafts, and they have tied logs of wood, right? Around five or 10, they have tied it, then they throw, they throw on water. And as always said, logs always float on water. Then they could pedal, they could pedal the rafts, using the waves, again, the water waves and, and, and all that to move from point A to B and mostly on, on water. They didn't use only rafts. They also had what we call canoes. A canoe is a very common name. And don't confuse a canoe in the traditional form and in the modern form. In the modern form, we also have got canoes. But what were these traditional forms, right? What, what, what was this traditional type of canoe? So we'll get to see that it was a sizable log that had been hollowed inside, right, all through. Meaning it is a log that has been hollowed, uh, hollowed inside, right? The inner, the, the, the inner part of the log has been, has been moved. Now, now it becomes the, the space has been created in the log. That is what we call a canal, right? Now these canals also could be pedaled like boats. And if you can see modern boats, now the, can the, the, the canals were, pe were pedaled on water using the pedals and uh, for example you also you, you always see these pedals that uh, the fishermen use on boats those are the same pedals that people in the traditional uh, society used canals apart from canals we also had sailing ships now these sailing ships they were made from tying a piece of uh, a piece of cloth on poles as you can see in our image right now these sailing ships were made by fixing a cloth on poles, then the wind could propel a boat towards the desired direction. But one of the disadvantages that we had using the sailing ships, they didn't have direction. Now you can't get to imagine wind blowing from east to west, and they were heading to east, meaning they can't move, right? So always they could miss direction. That's one of the disadvantages of the sailing ships. Suppose you are going to west and the wind is blowing from north to south, you won't, you won't move. That's one of the disadvantages of, uh, of the sailing ships, but they perfectly worked on water. Now, in conclusion, in conclusion, can you get to identify some of the traditional vessels used in early water transport? But not forgetting, we have already named a few. For example, the rafts, the canoes, and sailing ships. Can you name other two traditional vessels that were used in early water transport? And finally, can we also get to name other traditional means of water transport. So the first question you name the vessels, then the second question you name the earliest traditional 
means of transport. Let us use our reference material, which is Evolving World History, Form 2, and it is always the fifth, fifth edition. For more lessons, for more lessons, can we get to watch Elimu TV? As I told you, it is one of your favorite channels where you watch and learn, and you can also interact with us via our SMS number, also on Facebook and on Twitter. Thank you so much, and see you in the next class.